Hello Leo, I'm Susie from the Gift 202. I'm sorry I'm very late with your reading, um, but it's the 16th of October and I'm going to do a reading for you for the next 7 to 10 days. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Leo to know? What would you like Leo to know about this week? Next 7 to 10 days, what's the guidance for Leo please? Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Leo to know? What would you like Leo to know? Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Leo to know? Okay, Leo, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So you could be traveling these next 10 days, uh, communicating with someone online. Uh, you could have met someone online and they're kind of flying to meet you. They could be flying towards you from overseas or going on holiday. Lots, lots of communication with the Eight of Wands and the swift arrows of love. You could meet someone traveling. Um, we'll start with the Six of Wands. So you've had some kind of real glow up. Um, You've achieved something you set out to do. This could be over to do with love or a family because um, we've got the Ten of Cups crossing that and people giving you applause and accolade. Maybe you bought a house. Maybe you got married. Um, it's just joy and, 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 and happiness in the home. And there's victory here over something to do with the family. Um, you think still feeling that you've taken on too much and you've created these rods for your back and you might even have a bad back but you're thinking that nothing's floating in your boat even though this happiness is, is here and it's nice and it's joyful and you've achieved this thing it's like oh how can I um, get rid of this burden so that I can get off this desert island so that I can be a leader or be with this king of wands or be this manager or this I mean you are getting rid of these things off your back these dramas and you're becoming this king of wands because one minute look he's here with the rods on his back same king of wands fire passion and now he's free he can lead he can um he's very handsome he's very you know managerial very uh passionate about what he does um you could be dealing with this person this could be you uh, but there's an offer of new love coming in. There's an offer of this new home, this new house. Um, could be from an Aries or Sagittarius, Leo. But I think this is just an uprush of feeling for something new. Um, and someone here is rushing in to tell you, possibly about an empress. Um, they want to fight with you something maybe to do with a mother figure they want to share in your creation or do something creative with you um this you might feel that this is a karmic person um it could be that someone's telling you that you're starting again with someone or you're leaving someone for someone else um but someone is wanting to talk, could be a brother or a Gemini, wanting to come in and announce this new beginning. You're sort of standing here, abundant, harvesting all your, your money, your, your um, food. You're about to create something and give birth to something new. Um, lots of stuff's coming up to heal in the realms of love. A karmic partner could come back. Um, they might, you might think, well, no one's perfect and I've done that before and that maybe they've done that to me and now maybe there should be some forgiveness as long as it, things can be heal. But there's still an element of secrecy here which you might have to go on your own to get out of or the, the get out of the worry of this person's going to cheat or this thing's going to... So you might want to sort of go and be on your own for a little while because you're still wondering there's, if there's deceit here or someone's stolen something. Um, but someone wants to heal a rift. It could be with a mother um, because it starts off, there's a victory with the family, but then it feels like the family's a burden. The King of Wands is habit, wanting to start a new love, wanting to communicate. 
or someone's offering you new love. They've got your back. But someone here is the Empress. She's abundant. She's she's There's going to be successful creation here for yourself. And a lot of things are coming up to heal. Let me just check. No, I can't check because I don't even know what I've done with it. Oh, it's there. Hold on a minute. Stuff's coming up to heal. We've got the Seven of Swords here. Right, don't be so egotistical that you don't accept help from others. Um, people might be giving you help, could be this mother figure. Um, you know, you did start with that six horns. It can be a big ego, and you, you are a Leo. Uh, but accept help from others if you need to heal something. Um, and the four of swords is like being on your own, isn't it? It's being ghosted. So... Okay, so it's saying you've won the battle, a difficult battle, which tested your faith and everything. But you're going to win it. There's going to be healing. Accept help from other people. Don't be too prideful. Um, there's some stuff coming out of the closet this week. Angel, spirit guides, Leo. What would you like Leo to know? Okay, we have playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Attraction, there's a, uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Like I said before, I would, but the, you might still feel that someone is a little bit um, sneaky. And you might want to be on your own to kind of work through that. Work that out with yourself. Um, you might even get a, a flu or something and, and have to lay down. Um, or, or it's almost like you might, it's like you've been through through the wars with somebody. And yeah, things are up and out. If it's come out to heal, that's great, but it might take a little bit of time for it to all, to all sink in. There are red flags still there. Angels, spirit up. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. And I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Okay, so there might be a news of a pregnancy here with that Ten of Cups and the Empress and Ace of Cups. Someone might come in with news of, of a pregnancy. And it might have been an accident sort of thing with that seven of swords there and things can come up to heal. So maybe you might not even want this pregnancy. It might be come as a shock or something like that. Um, but something is being birthed. Something um, with the mother and the moon. I guess we've got the Aries moon tonight. Angels, the person most on Leo's mind, what would they like to take Leo if they could tell them the truth? The person most on Leo's mind, I bury myself in work to forget you. Just to know. The person most on Leo's mind, if you, oops. We both know I'm not the one for you. Left you. I left you before you could leave me. You were the best thing in my life. I hide behind material things and I can't stop thinking about you. It's like you've got the, the happiness, you've got the home, 
but there's still something not floating your boat. But you're about to get rid of that because something is coming in that you're going to know that you're going to really like. And someone's going to be going through something with you, like battling through with you. Um, and this enables things to heal. This could be a karmic situation. Um, but and, and like it said, accept support from other people. Um, but you might want to, at the end of these seven to ten days, just isolate yourself or meditate or be on your own. Maybe there's, it's been a lot. Maybe you are travelling around with this eight of wands and a lot of communication goes on. And it's a bit um, draining. Uh, but yeah, the stuff, keep charging your head, don't take no, follow your heart. And um, there's something coming to the family. Have faith and hope there's something on the horizon. Take care, Leo, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.